Greetings YouTubers, welcome to Makeup Geek 1021. Today we will be going over love triangles and how they can sometimes give a story that the public doesn't necessarily want slash expect. For today we are going to dive into the X-Men universe, specifically of Cyclops, Jean Grey, and Emma Frost. Also, side note, be sure to check out my fanfiction account for plenty of Jot X-Men Evolution fanfictions that I am writing at the moment. Now let's get into it. The pairing of Jean Grey and Cyclops goes way back to the 1960s, where they were first introduced in Uncanny X-Men number 1 as nothing more than a couple of kids at maybe the age of 18 or 19 years old. Now, let's face it, when Jean first came to the X-Men, all the boys were attracted to her. Even 16-year-old Bobby Drake thought Jean was hot. But ultimately, Jean chose Scott and their relationship led to an engagement. But of course, Chris Claremont had to do the classic Wolverine Cyclops Jean love triangle because his simple explanation was that he didn't like Scott and Jean as a couple. I can say that Claremont is the greatest X-Men writer of all time, but I'm not the biggest fan of some of his decisions he's made on the comics. And of course, I'm just not a huge fan of Jean being torn between two men, Scott and Logan. However, this love triangle has had an influence, especially on the Grant Morrison run on X-Men, where he decided to take a turn and create a love triangle that just wasn't necessary. It was where Cyclops, traumatized after fighting Apocalypse, was offered psychic therapy by Emma Frost in order to help him heal his emotional wounds. However, this is what led to the infamous Cyclops and Emma Frost psychic sex affair. This affair just opened up a whole new can of worms that many Jot shippers were not happy with. With Jean being so infuriated, she makes an attempt at actually killing her arch nemesis, who was partially responsible for her becoming the Dark Phoenix, and then of course this led to Jean dying again. However, that doesn't mean that Emma Frost and Cyclops' relationship didn't have any positive factors to it. Scott being with Emma helped him be more open with his feelings, something Scott was never good at due to the amount of trauma he suffered through as a child. However, Emma getting him to be more open about his emotions and his feelings has led to Scott developing a bit more arrogance. And keep in mind, Scott can have an arrogance to him and he can be a prick, but that doesn't mean he just stops caring. He will continue to want what is right for mutants and believes in mutants' rights to be free. Maybe this is me being a bit biased because Scott just happens to be my number two favorite Marvel superhero, but that's honestly what I see in him. Emma Frost definitely did help bring that out in him and helped him live again, but here's the thing. Emma Frost is very cold and she always will be. She will always be this passive-aggressive, cold-hearted person. Sure, she has a caring side to her, but the problem is once she was brought in as an X-Man during the Grant Morrison run on the comics in the early 2000s, she just didn't have that level of warmth, love, compassion, and open-hearted kindness that Jean had. Jean is the kind of character that would take hold of your heart, cradle it with soft hands, and take care of it like it's the most precious thing to her. But this did allow for one thing to work very well in the early 2000s and even in the mid-2000s. Kitty Pride was brought in to sort of fill that very motherly, gentle role Jean had because you need someone with a lot of warmth and love to balance Emma Frost and her icy heart out. Additionally, for the most part, Emma and Scott's relationship didn't consist of a deep, passionate love, and it was, it was essentially just a relationship that mostly consisted of them just having sex, which is definitely not healthy because it's essentially representation of pornography. While Emma and Scott had something between them that was unique, she did admit in the comics that she and Scott would never have what Scott had with Jean, which was this very fiery, passionate love with a psychic link that can never be broken. So therefore, this is a question of who you think Scott is better off with. It ultimately comes to preference, but this is a love triangle that's been going on for the past 16 or 17 years, and it definitely came at a time where X-Men comic sales were starting to fall, but the first two movies in the original trilogy, as well as the X-Men Evolution cartoon series, were starting to find some success in their own right. It's definitely a love triangle that I would not have asked for, given it just further made Scott look bad in the comics, but what did come after with Scott being a more confident, capable, commanding leader for Munin's rights, that actually somewhat made up for it. But for those of you that ship Scott and Emma, 
keep on shipping. And if you ship Scott and Jean, well, keep on shipping them too. However, just because one might prefer one ship over the other in a love triangle, we should be able to discuss it without any ship shaming, meanness, or character bashing. It's also perfectly fine to ship the two different pairings, meaning you can ship both Jean and Scott as well as Scott and Emma. For example, I'm a Kyoto shipper, but I also ship Kitty Pride and Rachel Summers and Rachel Summers and Nightcrawler. Heck, in my X-Men Evolution fanfiction titled Control, an X-Men Evolution story, I created a shipping of Nightcrawler and Wolfsbane. Now let me know in the comments, folks, who do you ship Cyclops to be with? I think next week I'd like to do a video covering the iconic pairing of Rogue and Gambit or even canon ships covering Rogue and Iceman. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos and I will be back soon.